Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Data 2 reference 218206. You can see this solid platinum discontinued reference and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. Please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing of this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this reference. 218206. Now you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This is the classical Date 8 2 produced from 2008 through 2015, now supplanted by the Date 8 40. This is the largest and most visually imposing Date 8 money can buy. The timepiece, again, a short-lived and rarely subscribed reference, never sold in the same numbers as the traditional 36mm Date 8, so many see this as a future collector's item, and certainly in this glacier blue dial variant in solid platinum. It's both a technology pioneer and one of the scarcest of the Date 8 2 references. So more on that in a moment, but let's talk about the basic fit. Fit and ergonomics, the watch is massive. Absolutely unbelievable the heft of this timepiece. A large cushion style case, a solid platinum case back, and one of the burliest bracelets in the dress watch business. I mean, eyes closed, you know you're wearing something special. 41 millimeters across the round of the case from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, not inclusive of the crown. It has impressive presence. Nevertheless, it is not thick, only 12 millimeters thick. You can see that with a generously sloped conical platinum bezel, it easily slides underneath a dress cuff. Now from lug to lug, you're not gonna get the truest measurement. So I like to measure from solid end link to solid end link across the bracelet. That gives you a substantial 53.6 millimeter measurement horizontally across the wrist. But you can see my 16 centimeter wrist wears it well. I would say down to 15 centimeters in circumference. You're absolutely viable for this watch to wear it with security and good proportion. Now, of course, there is that heft, but it's not something that grates on you. It's beautifully made, has excellent ergonomics with the cushion case so there are no pressure points or hot spots and then the bracelet itself is silken it's a nice middle ground between the massive three link design of the oyster sports watch bracelet and the somewhat excessively flexible and, and sometimes short-lived five link jubilee this is a president style bracelet the president being the name of the bracelet not the watch though the date 8 and date 8 2 references are often nicknamed president the bracelet itself is the president you can see satin finished outer links, polished center links, satin finished outer links flanking polished shoulders, and then here's something you can't see ceramic pins in between each individual link. The 218206 was the debut reference for this technology, which Rolex then brought out across the board on the succeeding Date 840. What the ceramic pins do, in addition to making it even more flexible and supple than before, is to effectively eliminate the phenomenon of bracelet stretch, which was never due to the elongation of the links themselves, but rather the erosion of metal of the pins joining the links together. With ceramic coatings, we no longer have that problem. A silken bracelet that will never stretch, and it's paired with a very substantial full platinum buckle, as ever, featuring the hidden partition point, the only cue being the five-point coronet, the crown clasp, you can see, no longer just a lever for pulling the clasp open. It's now an actual pivoted switch for smoother and more positive engagement and disengagement. The watch itself is huge. There's no getting around it. This is one of the largest standard production Rolex watches of all time. 41 millimeters, but it wears bigger. I would say it looks and feels like a 43. Moreover, the watch has a large open dial, and that's one of the advantages of the timepiece. It allows some of the features of the traditionally crowded 36 millimeter Date 8 to breathe a little bit better and, and span out over a larger dial blank. Now it is the glacier blue dial with sensational blued white gold Arabic numerals and hands at center. Now the watch has the Cyclops magnifier for the date and the aperture for the day as well as a railroad style minutes and seconds track outboard with small stylized Roman numerals adjacent to each index. Again, I feel that this is a better composition of what had been a crowded dial on a 36 millimeter watch. Everything has its space. Everything looks to be more in balance on the Date 8 2 and that's one of the advantages of its size. Moreover, the Cyclops eye no longer dies dominates the aesthetic of the watch. 
Now there's a screw down crown and underneath and within the unseen is the Rolex Manufacturer Caliber 3156. 31 joules, 48 hour power reserve, automatic winding with a bi-directional action and Teflon coated reversing wheels for exceptionally smooth action on the wrist. Unlike most automatics, it's almost completely imperceptible in operation. Protected down to 100 meters, this is a sports style watch that wears equally well with the suit. Now the balance bridge is a full bridge and it's a free sprung balance operating at 4 hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. The full balance bridge and the free sprung balance endowing the watch with robust resistance to shock or vibration induced timing deviation. The Breguet overcoil hairspring in Paracrom blue anti-magnetic alloy giving the watch as an overcoil resistance to gravitational or positionally induced timing deviation and as a Paracrom blue alloy resistance to magnetically induced timing deviation. Now when you thread the crown out you can interact with the watch through two setting systems. One is fully out and hacked or stop seconds that halts the balance and allows precise setting of the watch and then there's an intermediate crown position that allows the double quick set system, rapid correction of the date and the day in sync. Now, of course, the watch is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer, but Rolex goes one step better, taking the certificate for the chronometer movement, putting the movement in the watch, and ensuring that the watch continues once cased up to meet chronometer timing standards. That is something that is not universal in the world of chronometers, and it is a house specialty of Rolex to ensure that every watch is not just certified as a chronometer, but in fact performs as one. Finally, of course, this was the introduction of Rolex's in-house Paraflex shock absorption system to the Date 8 family. The Caliber 3156 debuting that technology over the preceding reference 3155. This watch, now discontinued, spectacular in appearance, spectacular in fit and feel, absolutely singular and one of the rarest modern Rolex references can be seen and purchased on our website.